What's up YouTube? My name is Kenny J, the insurance guru, and this is Kenny J TV. If you are new to Kenny J TV, feel free to browse around and don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe and hit that bell for my latest notification. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back to Kenny J TV. In this video, I'm going to be talking about why I started my own insurance agency at the age of 23. For those of you that don't know, I started with State Farm before I had my own agency. I was with State Farm for about four to five months, but once I realized how much growth and how many leads I was getting on my own, I decided to leave and venture out to start my own agency for a plethora of reasons. The first reason why I started my agency was because I always knew I wanted to be an entrepreneur. I always knew that I wanted to work for myself. Being at State Farm, my goal was to be there a year and a half, two years, get very comfortable with the terminology and how to really operate in the insurance space and then start my agency. But once I started working at State Farm, the volume, the amount of leads I was getting from my social media, from YouTube, all these different platforms, I knew that I wanted that to be on my book of business because I wanted to get those residuals. As a State Farm team member, I wasn't getting any residuals and a very low percentage of the commission. So I knew that I had to jump ship. The quicker the better. The quicker I could jump ship, the more residuals I would have down the line. People always ask, was I scared? Was I afraid? Not really. I was more so ready to venture out and be able to do my own thing and create my own schedule. One of the last things that really took me over the edge and said I need to leave State Farm was when I asked in the middle of a pandemic, can I work from home? And my former agency owner told me, hey, no, but if you do work from home, we're going to cut your pay in half. And it was a lot of stipulations and that wasn't cool because at the time my grandmother was on the end of her life and she was transitioning and I wasn't able to see her because I was going into the office around other people and with everything going on with the pandemic I couldn't see her and they didn't understand that so I went ahead and left and that was honestly the best decision I could have ever made. The second reason why I started my agency was because I wanted to give people more options. Of course, being a captive agent or working for one insurance company, you can only give them the rates of that company. So let's say you're with Allstate or you're with Geico and someone calls you for an auto quote and they say, oh, it's too high or the company declines them due to driving history, due to claims, due to whatever. All you can say is, well, good luck, or you can refer them to a broker. But me being the broker, I have over 20 carriers that I'm able to place an individual through. It's never been a time where I wasn't able to provide coverage for a client due to driving history or violations. I have clients that have DUIs, uh, reckless driving charges, you name it. I have clients that have those on their driving history. And that was very important to me because I love insurance, and but my main passion is helping people and educating people on the importance of insurance. So I knew that working for a captive company, I wasn't able to truly help people the way that I wanted to. The third reason I started my agency was the freedom to brand my business. I wanted to brand my business in the way that I thought was most effective. And if you're working for a company as a captive agent, or even if you're franchising a company like an Allstate or a State Farm, there are a lot of stipulations that goes into it. So I wanted to be able to say what I wanted to say and brand how I wanted to brand in order to grow my agency. And I knew that I would not be able to do that anywhere else but doing my own thing. YouTube is a big part of my company brand and my personal brand and I remember sitting with my former agency owner and she told me, hey listen, if you ever want to be a State Farm agency owner, you have to delete your YouTube. It's not something that they believe in and that right there was a red flag. I'm like, that's how I get a lot of business. That's how I'm able to educate and help people truly across the world. So that's not something I'm willing to do to meet the requirements of being a agency owner for a captive agency or a captive company. The fourth reason why I left, and this is in no certain order by the way, but the fourth reason why I left or why I started my own agency was better pay. Of course, when you are your own boss, the pay is unlimited. It is truly uncapped commission. So you can make anything from $30,000 all the way to 30 million plus dollars 
owning your own business no matter what field you're in but especially in insurance and I love how I'm able to work remote as long as I have a laptop and good Wi-Fi I'm able to make money and there's no cap and with certain companies and people that have booked calls with me I've heard that you know they say after a certain commission point it kind of plateaus but on the other side when you're running the business that is absolutely not true on the entrepreneurship side the harder you work the more money that you make and that is my favorite thing because i'm literally getting a direct return on my investment from putting in all of those hard hours all of that hard work in order to see my business grow as well as the revenue and the last and final reason why i started my agency is not only because i wanted to learn more for myself but i wanted to be able to bring people under the umbrella of my company of the entity and train people on how to be successful in the insurance industry and then do it in not the traditional way of growing your agency and my goal with agents that do come under me is to train them up to grow them and then one day hopefully they go out and start their agency so i'm the boss that's going to encourage you for great for better I know that this is a stepping stone and a lot of times agency owners out here or companies out here don't want you to be better or to be greater so that is my ultimate goal with helping people and I know that when I put that out and I'm helping people that would truly return tenfold to me and since I've been in business since 2021 I've helped so many people start their agency and grow their business and it truly has came to me 10 times back and I'm very grateful for that. And those are a few reasons why I started my own insurance agency at 23 years old. If you are looking to start an agency, what are some of your biggest obstacles or what are some things you're looking forward to once you start your own agency? Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe and hit that bell for my latest notification. Again, my name is Kenny J, the insurance guru, and this is Kenny JTV.